What's up guys, Alpine Gremlin again here, and I got a little bit of a teaser for you. This is a random clip that I haven't, um, that I, that I, and I haven't done random clips in a very long time, but I had this, I had this hat, this replay hanging around, and I really wanted to show you guys this amusing little, uh, encounter I had on the hill. Um, which kind of highlights how you can use positioning and cover, um, and knowledge of your enemy's tanks in order to in order to outplay them, even when there's multiple ones against you. This is also a little bit of a teaser, because I, you can see that I'm in the Leopard 1, and I intend on putting out a relatively long video um, here shortly about regarding the Leopard and how it plays, and I'll show you guys some gameplay. But this, I really like this result, and I wanted to share this with you guys. This game actually turned out to be a draw. And I got lucky in that the Amex, you can see the background information here. I'm the last one alive on my team on this, on this game on mines. I'm on the hill. I've only got 1,242 hit points left. The rest of my team really just melted, uh, melted here in the, last, in the closing moments of the game, leaving me alone against a FE-183, a T-110E4, and a 1390. And basically, I'm just waiting here. To, I'm waiting here for the last final holdout. Um, I'm going to do as much damage as I can before I eventually go down. Um, and so, I'm basically, so here, I'm going to press the replay here. I got lucky, because the 1390, if the 1390 came with them, then I would have lost. And, but you see this a lot, when there's one or two enemy tanks left. The enemies come at you one or two at a time in smaller groups, as, as opposed to everyone hitting them at once. The 1390, if the 1390 had been here for this engagement, I wouldn't have done what I was able to do. So, without further ado, let's, let's, three uh, left. let's see. There's three minutes left on the clock, and I come over to see if anyone is going to be coming up the hill. Now, you can see that the E4 and the 183 were last spotted here on their sniper hill, and the 1390 was around here stalking the, uh, stalking the lower part. Now, I'm expecting, the first thing I'm, the first person I'm expecting is the 1390 to try and come and root me out. Um, but I need to assume, of course, that, th that their tank destroyers are now actively looking for me. So I'm trying to see who's coming up this hill. Doesn't seem to be anyone coming up. I move, I inch forward a little bit. Because obviously, you know, on this hill, there's only one logical place to watch. There's only one place that they could feasibly come through. Um... Unless they boost each other up a side of the hill, but that's that's not likely. So I see I I come up on this hill. I spot the E4. The E4 spots me. I put a cheeky shot into the side of the E4's turret before I sneak around the rocks here. Now I'm using these two rocks. These two rocks are key for me right now. They're the only thing that's that they're the only thing that I could put in between me and this E4. E4 comes around the corner, I bounce. The same time I'm thinking, okay, where's the 1390, where's the 183? Where are these two other enemy tanks? I know they're going to be coming, I just need to know when, it's just a matter of when. So the E4 pushes up a little bit more on the rocks. You can see right now, the right now I just, I'm just noticing now the 183 is behind me, right here. And I'm thinking, well, I guess it was a good run. GG. The 183, the 183 fires, the E4 fires, I know that I've got a little bit over 22 seconds to, to kill this E4 before the 183 has reloaded, so I go to work. I remember the E4 can only turn his turret 180 degrees, so I know that as long as I stay out of that angle, I can kill this guy. Hit him in the engine and set him on fire, now the FV 183 is left, and I'm still wondering where is this 1390? Where is this 1390? One minute remains. One minute left on the clock. I bait the 183 into looking the other direction for a split second. That buys me enough time to exploit the Leopard's maneuverability and speed to get completely around this guy. This guy can turn his turret even less than the E4 can, and I block him in be behind the rock before he's able to put that between me and him, and I'm able to secure the kill on the on the 183. Oh. 
Now, I'm still wondering, where is this Where is this 1390? Because the 1390 can still technically win this game. He only has to hit me one more time. I was so lucky that the 183 didn't one-shot me. He hit my tracks. And he still did 1136 splash damage. But, in fact... No, never mind. The 183 shot me with an AP round. If that was if that was hash, it would have killed me. But it was an AP round, so it it still it almost killed me. Left me on 106 HP. But again, it was not a hash round, so it didn't have the extremely high alpha. All this all this 1390 though has to do is hit me once, and I'm dead. He has to pen me once, and he's a 1390. I'm a leopard. That's not going to be hard for him. There's 28 seconds left on the clock. He can definitely do that. So I'm looking around. I'm going to scout this guy out. I'm wondering where he is. He comes in behind me a little too late. Should have came with the tank destroyers, but he didn't. He fires and misses. I said, screw this. I back down off the hill. And here's where the funny part happens. He's charging down. He's charging me down, trying to get that kill. And ends up getting himself stuck. Now here's the, fu here's the funny thing. Before the match ends... He's now completely stuck. He cannot, he can't actually position, he can't actually aim his gun because of the angle at which he's gotten himself stuck. He can't actually point his gun at me. So technically, I could have just farmed the remaining HP he had and he couldn't have done anything to stop it. If I had, a, if I had a minute, if I even had maybe 30 seconds left, I could have done this and killed this guy, possibly. But just as he gets himself into that position, the time runs out as I'm about to take the first shot of this turret. And it ends in a draw. Could have carried that game majorly if it weren't for the time limit. But what are you going to do? Can't win them all. And hell, that was a lot of fun. If not terrifying. That 1390, though, messed up. He should have come with the tank destroyers. If he had, he would have secured a definite win. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that amusing clip. And uh, I'll see you next time. And look forward to my leopard video coming out soon. This is a little bit of a teaser. All right, take care.